All right, round two, Toth. This is one of the better ones. Uh, Toss dinner in the crock pot. No idea if I did it correctly. The directions were unclear, and wife out is at a football game right now and uh, cannot give me direction. <laughs> so we'll see how that went. Maybe, maybe update later. <laughs> All right, so he's on Praxis. Um, a lot of his stuff does die to Annihilate. What survives it? Like Champion of Impulse, which he has two of, and Heart of the Vault. Uh, I think this is good enough to keep me alive. Like... So the nightmare scenario here is that he just like jams a Dawnwalker and then has a way to bring it back, but I, I think I can draw things to get around that. And there are plenty of draws in my deck that beat a Dawnwalker, like Steward of the Past and Titan, for instance. I'm on the play, so I have time to maybe just get all the way up to Ascendant. Alright, Vara's Favor. I think I'm not going to play that, because if he does play a Dawnwalker here, that just buys me an extra turn. Extra four health. If he plays an Acolyte, I'm glad to kill that too. And if I draw like a Titan or something, I can just play that instead. Okay, well. And the 2 1 won't matter, and I can kill it on turn five, but as it is, let's kill it. And like, yeah, it gets swept up by Stray, so I get to save Stray for Dawnwalker specifically. I still get to hold up Annihilate. Only need one more power for Ascendant to be the seven drop he truly deserves to be. Alright, so what am I afraid of? Like, I'm not afraid of Fire Maul or Titan. I'm not really afraid of Dawnwalker. I guess I'm just afraid of, like, multiple Hearts of the Vault, since he's got all the influence required for that. Hearts of the Vault would be poor. Okay. Ascendant coming down in T-2. Do I want to destroy that? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a Dawnwalker, and we're fast approaching the point where uh, Fire Maw won't matter, or where Dawnwalker won't matter, because I'm just going to have a bunch of 6 health dudes. So I have to use my more expensive spell, and then I can, like, Titan plus Annihilate in the same turn or something. Like, maybe Hearts here that's sort of unfortunate, but I can afford to take a few points. I'm at 26. Like, I also have a 6-6 six, six that draws a card. <laughs> of course, it's easier for him to kill mine, because Obliterate or Carnosaur do it, whereas only Death Strike kills that. But I, I guess, like, if he plays something else that dies to Stray, then Stray makes it tiny, and, like, Ion can trade for it. Or I guess draw, like, a uh, champion thing. That'd be the nut, obviously. Um, time Sigil... Let's play Titan and take six. Play that so that I can activate Ion next turn if I draw power. All right, so I think he does have a torch. So I guess this Ion is just going to bite it. Well, now if I draw an Ascendant, I'm going to feel silly. It's okay. I go to 12. It's still fine. There's always just straying. Although this will die to the torch if I stray, so it's looking a little bit less than great now. Yeah, no blocks. I can't ambush this in double block when he has a pause, because the pause can only be torch. Like, it's 100% guaranteed he has a torch. It might even cost zero. <laughs> There's going to be no chance for me to sneak this down, I'm afraid. So do I even play it here is the question. I may want to ambush it to block this guy. Like, save six damage. Maybe I do. Yeah, okay, I do want to do that. So I'm going to annihilate this instead of playing the Ion. Just because he has the torch. I'm just going to ambush this to block next turn. Since there's no way this guy is living. I might as well gain six of it instead of just have it die to a torch, you know? Like, it's not like his torch is going to get better. Like, he doesn't have to use it now, but... He wasn't doing anything anyways. Like, none of my stuff dies to torch. He probably boards it out. He probably keeps the purifies in, though. Those are fine to silence my six drops. Shatter glass, okay. 
I don't know, maybe I should have made him use the torch, because now I'm going to have to uh, stray into shadow. And then this will die to the torch. I guess I'll get my hit in first. Hmm, okay. So maybe I didn't think this through, because then he didn't have to torch this, so then when I eventually had to use the stray... Means he can torch this and hit me for six. Whereas if I had just played end of turn, he had to torch it. I'd be at nine now, but then I could make this block, and then I could bring back like a nine nine to be tougher to deal with. Yeah, okay. I guess I should have eaten a torch. I should have realized that uh, the fact that I was going to cast a stray meant that his torch was going to have a target. Okay. Well, I guess I would be dead if that were the case then. <laughs> it's probably good that I didn't. Oh, he's had two torches? All right. <laughs> sure. The old 18 points of burn hand. Yeah, I just didn't find a way to beat a 6-6. Six -six. Uh, I had one 6-6 six -six of my own, but it got obliterated. All right, but I think I'm fairly good in the post board here. Just get to swap in some Carnosaurs, an extra stray for the little little guys. Yeah, we're fine here. Let's play. Like his sideboard doesn't get to do like anything. Like he brings in like Displacer and maybe Soulfire Drake, maybe Carnosaur. Like those are all pretty marginal upgrades. It's like the tempo is that important because I have so much removal. Like Heart of the Vault is the only card that's actually difficult for me to deal with. I have a couple of Death Strikes for that, and Vara Choice. And I do have to draw a Shadow Source here, but am I, I'm on the draw, so I have several turns to find power. Okay, that's not it. Not a bad card, but... Okay. Getting a little dicey now. I mean, Shadow next turn, it's still totally fine. Like, nothing went wrong at all. Alright. Fuck. Alright, if we go down 0-2 in this tournament here... Well, my bad matchup's out of the way. Like, everything else is just, like, close matchups. So I just have to, like, I don't know, play well and, uh... Win all the close matchups. All right, yeah, that was an unfortunate start. Like I expected to lose to uh, to Angry Chicken, but I thought that this was a pretty pretty great matchup for me. But uh, no answers to Heart Game One, and then really unfortunate uh, redraw into Oblivion here. And uh, looks like I'm just gonna be out. Um, so he's got ten damage here. So I can Vara's choice one of these only takes six, and then hopefully. A Titan can come down and save me. Or just like double Annihilate, I guess, would be okay as well. Uh, yeah, it's gonna have to be. Alright, double Annihilate. No, even that's not good enough. Yep, alright, dead. Well, alright, so I just gotta go like 5 and 1 here in the last couple rounds.